Yeah, uh, in today's game, um, you know, we used to talk about 20 point quarters, you know, hey, we need 20 point quarters. Today's game, you know, 25 point quarters, I think are more of the benchmark for a good defensive quarter. Uh, we had three of them um, against a team that uh, is a bit depleted, but is still a high, high level team. And that was, uh, it was a great sign of progress. And so, we got to keep working on the defense. I mean, we've got uh, we have the ability to do it. Um, you know, we you know we stuck together and, and, and found a way to get enough stops tonight. It got a little hairy at times, but they're a team that'll put you in some tough spots. Coach, we've talked about it before, but how significant is it to have a guy like Maxi, uh, not only individually but to a team defensive concept? How significant is it to have a guy like that? Well, he was great tonight, and Siaka has really been killing it. He's been averaging around 30 points, 29 or 30 in the last five games. Um, that was mostly his responsibility. Um, and look, you know, he, he held them to six for 24, which is really a great job. And uh, so, you know, he had he guarded him most of the time. Um, Dorian guarded him a little bit. Tim guarded him a few possessions. Um, but, you know, Maxie's versatility on defense is a, is a big, Big, big factor for us. It seems like you think of the, the Lons with him against his former team there, especially early in the fourth. Yeah, I liked his game. Um, you know, this certainly didn't get the buildup that the New York game got. Um, but look, there's, it's you know, you're still playing your former team. Um, and so he, uh, he did a terrific job. I, you know, he was real aggressive. Um, Anybody in the plus column in a game like this is, is playing their butt off, and we had a lot of guys in the plus column, almost everybody, and uh, it was great to see. Luca had a career high in free throws. Is that a product of just something he's doing, or is he just getting the calls now? He's a beast. He's a beast on offense, and you know they're, they're a team that has the ability to commit to taking the best player out of the game. Um, they they did it with Lillard. They they made it really tough on Kawhi Leonard. They uh, were real aggressive on LeBron James. We knew tonight that Luca was next in line. Um, he did a great job of mixing in uh, attacks that oftentimes led to fouls and drawing two defenders away and create, creating a four on three playmaking opportunity for another teammate. So um, you know, he, the balance of Luca's game was, was terrific tonight. You can talk about Kristaps' defensive effort tonight. It seemed like his defensive effort got him energized offensively, led to some easy buckets for him. Can you talk about his defensive effort tonight? Well, I love the way that he moved and played within the team system tonight. Um, you know, we made some real progress as a team, not only defensively, but offensively, um, especially with that first unit. And, you know, the, the 20 points and, and, and 15 rebounds were huge. The 15 rebounds were really big. Um, you know, KP can walk out there and get 18 or 22 in his sleep. I mean, he's that good an offensive player, but his presence around the basket, um, he only got credit for one block, but he changed some other shots, uh, and the 15 boards were huge. What was your message in that first quarter, the first time out when y'all were down 10-3? It seemed to completely change the complexion of the game. Uh, we just needed to settle down and, you know, get, get to doing what we do. Um, we had a we had a couple of, of uh, uncharacteristic turnovers and um, a couple of tough plays and you know they came out focused and so look this this week is as the great Dwayne Price mentioned we're we're playing teams that won the last six NBA championships so these are these are big time games all of them um, and so you know they're long and you got to be right and you're going to have some some ups and downs the first half was very up and down. Um, and the third quarter, we, we got some real traction and we were able to finish. Not a big shot total for Curry, but very efficient. Did you? I love Curry's game tonight. Loved it. Loved his intensity on defense. Um, you know, his mere presence on the floor creates problems for teams because, you know, similar to, similar to guys like KP and, and Luca, you know, great shooters are, are guarded so closely it opens up space for teammates. So even on nights where he's not getting a lot of shots, um, 
he's contributing heavily, heavily to what we're trying to do on offense. Um, his shot making was timely when he got good looks, and uh, you know the layup that he got was a big one, you know, down the, down the stretch. So um, great stuff from him. And hey, we got a, a day here to, to gather ourselves. Uh, we got San Antonio coming in here Monday, and, and a big week ahead of us. KP seemed uh, very active in the second half in terms of cutting, moving without the ball. How much of that is freelance? How much of it is scripted? And how much do you want him doing that sort of thing? Yeah, I, I thought tonight he played his best offensive game in terms of movement and, and causing problems for the other team and doing it randomly. Um, look, you can only script so much against a team like Toronto because you know they're 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 so they're so dialed into sets and they scout so well. So we knew we were going to have to play out of pace and random as much as possible tonight. Um, we really made strides offensively with, especially with our first group doing that, um, where you know it's it's um, it's been a little a little stilted and a little off rhythm um, at times tonight. Things flowed much better, and uh, we got to continue to make progress. And he was a big part of it. Thank you. Thank you.